All right. We're getting right into it today. No intro, no outro. We are playing Metroid Prime 3. I have to uh, turn the volume way the heck down. Well, let's uh, do that while it loads. Uh, right about there looks good. All right, Metroid Prime 3. We are uh, close to the end, I think. <clears throat> we have to go to Valhalla, I think, on the uh, Pirate Homeworld. I just got a Twitch notification on my phone. Mobile Live Dashboard. Manage your channel directly from your phone. Wow. Okay, so... <laughs> performance is looking really bad right off the bat. What is going on? I'm I'm going to I'm going to X that there. What is going on? I'm going to have to go to my configuration files. Uh da, 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 da. What could be going wrong here? With the audio? Audio back in. Hmm. Let's just let's just close out Dolphin and restart it. And I can't remember if I made a save state last time. I don't want to load it just in case uh it messes with other autosave files and whatnot. All right, here we go. Trying it again. We are playing single player Metroid Prime 3 Corruption. No alt tabbing. Maybe that was the problem. Please work. Shoot. That does not bode well for us. Oh, wait. Yes, it does. Awesome. All right, so. The AU is going to tell us to go to the Leviathan. Map is a little laggy. Where are we? We are right here. So we need to go up to the top floor. All right, up to the top floor. Go through the super missile room. I don't know what's going on. Um. I didn't really do anything that would have caused uh, this much pain to the game, as far as I know. I, um... I have the same programs open I always have open when I stream. Really weird. Um, let's double check, see we're going the right way. It seems we are not. We should have stopped off at the second floor. So let's do that. If, if this keeps going like this, I, I can't. 
I mean, I can, but I can't. It's it's not happening during the combat, so that's good. Oh. Stupidest door mechanism. So, uh, yeah, still dealing with really long load screens. <sighs> Should have taken my contacts out. All right, this room is annoying, but it looks like the way we need to go is on this floor. Oh, right, we have, uh, Grapple, we have to grapple this, right? So. I'm pulling, pushing. This is, this is annoying. What's, what's going on? Oh, we probably have to scan it, then yank it, right? Oh wait, no, we just put our hand here. Right, right, right. Yeah, I mean, I don't know how much I have in the way of commentary for today. Not feeling super chatty. I just kind of want to play this game and beat it and get it over with. Um, there's a lot to like about it. I mean, the aesthetics of uh, Brio in particular were just awesome. I loved it. I loved that setting. Um... Okay, thanks for the heads up. Um, okay, what do we got here? Energy shield is online, blocking access to the portal, powered by a nearby source. Um, so yeah, this... I don't, I don't know. I don't really know how I'm feeling about the game right now. Um, I think overall, it's my least favorite of the Prime games. Um, I don't know if my opinion would be improved or lessened. If I was not having emulation problems, that might have a little bit to do with it. But I think it's really just the heart of the game itself is, is I'm just not feeling it. Uh, the story and the exploration. Um, it's, it's not as good as prime one, or, prime one or two. Uh, for the exploration, a lot of it just feels linear. A series of linear maps that you can go back and forth to. Um, this is this is the AU, right? Samus, 
It seems ten man codes are needed to gain control of the mobile. We have detected that the abandoned ship Valhalla has not been full. It is possible that it still holds the answer to return to the Valhalla and search for the command. Return to Valhalla. <sighs> Um, I don't know. Prime 1 is, is the one that, like, I'll always love starting a new game in Prime 1. Uh, Prime 2 has some of the coolest enemy design. I like, I like the Aang and, and I, I don't know if coolest enemy design is really what I'm thinking. Just like the, the themes of the story and all that are uh, the coolest on Prime 2. The Luminoth. You get like you get NPCs that you can pretend to care about for the first time. Uh, this one has probably the best action out of the three. I mean, I, I, I don't think there's any debate there that when you're in thick of a battle uh, hitting that hyper mode up and just melting everybody's face off is really cool it might be too cool they might uh, lean on it a little too hard um, but at the end it feels good uh, one of the things that I, I noticed um, <clears throat> was while it's cool that the beams stack in this game, <clears throat> I do kind of miss beam switching. As weird as that feels to say. I don't think I'm going the right way. I don't think this is where I want to go. <clears throat> I have water. Why clear your throat when you have water? So yeah, I do kind of miss beam switching. Do I miss ammo? Not really, no. <clears throat> and it seems like this game has the least amount of um, visor switching, other than scan visor, which it obviously leans heavily onto, considering 90% of the things that you can grapple, you can't grapple it till you've scanned it even though it makes perfect sense to just grapple it. Based on all the other things that look identical that can be grappled. Um, so. A little bird told me that I, um... Yeah, might as well save and enter. Um, a little bird told me that in the Valhalla... To get to what I need to get, I don't need all the power cores. I just need to know where to correctly put the power cores in order to not waste them. However, <laughs> there is no tell if you've never done it before, is there? Where is Valhalla? Is it the Galfar? Yes. So, I could wing it. Hopefully do them in the right order so that I uh, don't need to get all the power cores. Or... Gotta look it up. If I wing it, I might do it wrong, and then I'll have to go on a hunt. And a little bird told me that to do this hunt, I probably won't be figuring it out all on my own. Which I believe. That is that is not an insult. I, I don't come into this game with a huge deductive... Not deductive. Uh, uh, being able to reason things the way the game developer expects. Bit of a point-and-click logic line. 
So let's um let's see what we have for power cores. Energy cells. I I have four. Right, and I have clues for two. Coordinates, Narayan. Rio. Can I go in? Do I have to write? Um, Metroids. Yeah, that's the name of the game. Metroids are severely underutilized. If they don't look at me, they can't suck me. There we go. Or I guess if I don't look at them. Alright, so... Oh, is this a lore thing? Right, I think I remember this room. Looks like there's a door on my mini-map. Oh, is it above me? It is. Um, how do I get up there? All right. <sighs> um, excuse me. Phase Ing. Ooh, the Ing are back. Got a missile expansion, which m makes me think that this wasn't necessarily the right way to go. This is going to be another cell location. This is on the Valhalla. Oh, I used it. Or maybe I could take it out. Anything else in here worth scanning? Oh, uh, okay. This is lore, right? Talon 4, formerly a Chozo colony, was struck by a stellar object. 50, also this is about, uh, yeah, Talon 4 is uh, Prime 1. Chozo are able to stave off the spread of phase on at the cost of many Chozo lives. Survivors abandoned the planet, space pirates, etc. Yeah, yeah. Come on, do the do the thing. I I don't quite. I don't need to kill them. Sure wish these doors would open. Alright, so the, uh... Holy crap, there's a lot of Metroids. They put all the Metroids in the game in this room.
error. Alright, so I should have two more cells. You can gank them, it's just very finicky. Space poly right. How do I get through? Oh, there's a hole here. Yeah, face me in the other way, direction. All right, all right, all right, all right. Scan the egg. Phase hopper. Rude. All right. Um, missiles. This game has missiles in it. Never used them. All right. Uh, Yes, we're going into the hole. Or not. Okay. What's the point of this little nook? Oh. Wait, I see... How do we get up there? Don't know. guys are alive again. How nice for you. Alright. Um, yeah, there was stuff down here, wasn't there? Um, or up. Might be the coolest of the Metroids I've ever looked, right there. Oh, okay.
Ooh, sorry, buddy. You don't even get lore scans. So I feel like I didn't have to go waste the two uh, cells that I wasted at the beginning. So I might reload my save and just come through this area. Sky Town, please not Sky Town. Sky Town was by far my least favorite area of the whole game. All right, so I'm just I'm just gonna push forward a little bit just to confirm that I'm gonna hit a dead end. Is this right? It's a what power sources are needed. One and you're gonna make me scan it, even though I just pulled the first one off. Wouldn't have known what to do with that without the uh, assist. All right, so I have two left, right? This, if this one gives us progress, we'll we'll reload the save and come back here. So the other one just gave us um, a missile upgrade. Is that a mini spaceship? How adorable. Oh, no, wrong button. Ship missile expansion? I don't use ship missiles. So this was... This might have also been optional. Where are we? Huh. I feel like I haven't gotten what I came for. But I don't recall any other... Oh, upstairs. Uh... There was a door there. So let's go back here. Call the elevator down. I guess the elevator's already down. Must have come down all on its own after I left. It's the door to the right here. Aha. Uh -huh. Yep. And I should have nothing. So, here's what do. Family. We going to 
quit and reload. We're going to only use one of our four expansion uh, energy cells right there. So, more loading screens. My apologies for all the loading screens. Gun truck is required. <clears throat> now there's uh, nothing going on in my chat, as I can see here. Look at me managing my stream. Oh, it saved it before I flew away. Understandable. So, it's been a good 30 minutes wasted. At least I know what I'm doing, so... Not that bad. Come sail away. Come sail away, come sail away with me. The Galfar system will land on Valhalla. Hang out with Thor and the rest of the Norse gods. Um, trial and error. We did it. You know, even... Even if... Even if a little birdie didn't tell me, I might have been tempted to uh, do this backtracking thing. Not backtracking, but reloading. I will get past everything. I will power through. Really? No reason why I shouldn't have made that. All right, let's hold the charge, I guess, for, uh... I should probably scan those little dingbat Metroids. But I won't. Leave me alone, I'm here to play George Washington. Let's see where this takes us.
Yoink. None of them are red. So we have. Ooh. Free energy. I will absolutely take that. You're back already, huh? My man, you are not doing well. But we're going to have uh, zombie troopers, just like in... Um, it's like in... Uh, 2. Prime 2. Phase on hopper babies. Uh-huh, uh-huh. If I can't see them, they can't hurt me. All right. I'm not falling for it. I'm not falling for it. Now what? <laughs> A am I going to fall for it? Do I need them to go up there? It kind of looks like it. Shadow structure is all that remains of the tank that houses the ship's Aurora unit. Oh, there's an Aurora unit here. Lip system is offline. Return power to the local stations. Plural. That means it must be the two things over there. Hmm. Then I'll only have one left. Okay, so what do I do about it? I'm, I'm confused. Secure, security hatch unable to open. Control mechanism within wall has probably malfunctioned. Yeah, it probably has. So how, how do I... Malfunctioning strong blast probably okay, so Okay. It's hoping this is in a waste. Cross. Ooh. 
Ooh. Something's rumbling. What are you? Metroid Hatcher. I, I would like to scan this. Gentle beast. I'll just stand here and wait. Look at that gaping maw. That's, that's, that's a, that's a... That's, that's a, that's a thing. <laughs> you know what it looks like. Mutation has robbed the Metroid Hatcher of its ability to phase, but has provided it a hardened outer shell, which has identical attributes to fa as Phasite. The shell protects the creature's heart located at the core of its head. The Hatcher's tentacles are quite dangerous and can leech energy from any targets they connect to. However, the tentacles are also the creature's, excuse me, creature's weak point. If all tentacles are ripped from its body, it will perish. As such, it will attempt to recover energy by retracting them into its shell when they take damage. While the Hatcher's tentacles are retracted, it is unable to attack, relying on the Phazon Metroids it spawns from its mouth for protection. Spawns from its... It, it, it gives birth, I would say, from that Orphus. Interesting. Doesn't at all look like something that could possibly give birth. Ah... Uh. If the interior of the creature is hit while its mouth is open, it loses its strength. The Hatcher's tentacles can be ripped off. They are pulled at this time. So smack it in the... Smack it in the tentacles. And pop it in the mouth. Having a lot of trouble smacking its tentacles. He's a fast bugger. Here we go. One more, one more, one more. Looks like I'm firing directly at the tentacles. One down. Come on. I don't know what the hell is going on with the hit detection here. Oh, I thought he was gonna jump up behind me. Okay. Pop it in the mouth. Oh, there's one more. Not cool, man. He's not birthing any, um, or she isn't birthing any Metroids, I'm noticing. Maybe I'm just whacking it too fast. You're one ugly motherfucker. Yeah, that uh, that shared similar um, <laughs> inspirations as Predator from the movie Predator. That was a cool design. Uh, a little easy of a fight, but, you know, at this point in the game, I'm looking to get her done. Oh, 
Bak. So we're probably on the right path. Generally don't get a boss fight for going the wrong way. A lot of Aether, home of the Luminoth, struck by the Phazon meteor five decades ago. The impact had catastrophic effects on the already unstable planet. Dark Twin, we were there. You saw me beat it. I know what's going on. You know what's going on. Enter the proper code to access the backup data files of the ship. What? That doesn't help. That doesn't help. Okay. Uh, these guys aren't red, so none of them are going to have the code, are they? But maybe you will. 8356. Puzzles. No, I didn't. I meant to press 7. successfully removed the primary mounting structure around our stasis tank. It is obvious now that they intend to extract us from the Valhalla. It is vital that the Federation receive this transmission. Sorry, I'm texting my wife. Um, it is vital that the Federation receive this transmission. Sounds like a uh, euphemism to me. Sentient planet. Wow. So that happened. What does it mean? Can I please just grapple it? Gotta, I'm doing my, I'm doing my grapple, wiggle. Forward. Uh, helmet. Did I ever give this a name? Grappling hook? I don't know what I would call that. And Maui. Alright, here's 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 my distaste for the game. I can I can encapsulate it in this right here. The game thinks it's cool to give you arbitrary keys to arbitrary locks. And it's making a big show. It's giving you the fanfare and everything. Um, <clears throat> it's not cool. It's not... You, you didn't get the grappling beam. You didn't get super bombs, which, by the way, where are the super bombs? Oh, my contacts are really messing with me. You didn't get... Um, a power-up. You didn't get something cool that makes playing the game cooler on a moment-to-moment -moment basis. 
or even situationally cooler. It's just, just like with the ship bombs, with the ship, any upgrade to your ship. We haven't been able to, man, my contacts are really effing with me. I'm so sorry. <laughs> It is likely that this code could allow us to control the Leviathan in orbit above the Pyroshone world. Find a way onto the Leviathan. Yeah, so, like, so many of the, um, power-ups in this game are not combat or movement related. They are... Uh, keys for arbitrary locks, and, uh... I just don't think that's cool. I don't want to be here. Am I going the wrong way? Yes, I need to be going... this way. Now, does that make it bad? Not necessarily. I mean... As far back as video games go, there have been keys for locks. Zelda, I mean... You gotta get keys in the dungeon to unlock specific uh, progression pathways, but... What has always separated Zelda from Metroid has been the nature of the lock and key. Zelda has a combination of ability based lock and keys and literal lock and keys. And the, the ability based lock and keys were useful outside of the instances in which they're used as a lock. You know, you get the you get the hammer in a link to the past. The hammer allows you to access the new area, lock and key style. But you can also kill things with it. <laughs> um yes, yes, yes. Metroid has always been that way. Every single ability has been both a lock and key and something that you use to increase your uh, your your uh, arsenal, your toolkit, or to um, uh, where do we want to be? We want to be at this one, don't we? No, no, no. We want to be at this one. Uh, to increase your movement toolkit, your combat, and your movement toolkits. Um, this game is just throws that right out the window. Which it is what it is. I'm not going to call it bad. It's just not what I want when I'm playing a video game with the name Metroid in the title. And I think that's what puts this game in particular on the bottom of the prime list. Does it make it bad? No. Would I play this again someday? Yeah. Not on PC. I, I feel like I'm doing myself a disservice, actually. Um, I think if this if this uh, came to uh, the Switch in a in a compilation with uh, the rest of the games, I'd I'd play it. Second floor. Second floor. Second floor. Second. 
But yeah, um... That's, that's my brain droppings. I haven't had a real jaw session about, uh, my thoughts on the game design in this game. But yeah, I know I had a couple of, uh... Not rants, so much as opinions. <laughs> about Prime 2. And, uh, naturally. I not going the right way anymore. <clears throat> I am going the right way. Oh, right, the door's already opened. I saved it after I came back. I was wondering where that tentacle blob was that I had to grapple. I forgot that, uh... I did do all this. And then save it. What did wife say? Alright, hopefully there's a save station uh, very close by because the wife is coming home with Taco Bell. I am hungry. I haven't eaten since a late lunch. It's 10 o'clock. I think I had lunch at like 2.30. They're not even going to tell me the code. They're not even going to do me the, uh... The, the, the minor justice of letting me punch in a code that's literally lying next to the <laughs> code screen. Now we'll be able to open a wormhole. It's time to... Once you rendezvous with the fleet, we'll head straight into the... I look forward to fighting alongside you again, Sam. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Pop. Let's... What do I do? Do I have to go back to my ship? That's it? It's useless shit. What? I'm guessing it's saying, uh... Now, <laughs> once you join the fleet, that's it. No turning back, so explore the universe. While you still can. Sorry about the state of my hair. I didn't shave this morning. It's a mess. Take heed, sons. Once you join the fleet and the warm, please be sure to prepare yourself. Um. <coughs> Well, <clears throat> I'm feeling good about this session. I uh, <coughs> didn't have to do useless scut work and
go gallivanting around the uh, galaxy. Oh, there's a long line at Taco Bell. She's bringing home Wendy's. Even better. We were supposed to be boycotting Taco Bell. Our local... <coughs> pardon me. Our local uh, Taco Bell is straight hot fire trash. It's a garbage establishment. Wait, where do I get that armor? Uh, yeah, our local Taco Bell is just no good, man. They get orders wrong pretty much every single time. You have to wait in line for forever. An unreasonable amount of time. And then, uh, pull up to the window, you pay, and they say, Can you go, uh, pull around front? Why don't you pull around front, huh? What is this? Right, this I can put in codes for whatever reason. I wonder if there's any... I'm going to quickly look up. Metroid Prime 3 ship secret code. Let's see if there's anything cool. 3648. 3? 6, 4, 8. Didn't get any of that. <laughs> Transmission console. There's got to be something cool here. 2751. Two, seven, five. I can't reach. Seamus. Seamus McTroyd. You can't reach. <sighs> They all have one in them. 8354. Ah, I can hear me. This is Miyamoto. All of you playing Metroid, can you hear me? It's fun, isn't it? I've always worked on many Metroid games, but this one is the best yet, don't you think? <laughs> Make sure to play it all the way to the end. See you. That's adorable. 3648. Three. That's a five. Oops. Six four eight, come on. Three, six, four, eight. Well, hello, all players of Metroid Prime. So, this is Kenji Yamamoto. <laughs> I'm responsible for the shit show that is Other M. While the Metroid series development began more than 20 years ago, and well, if you listen well to a Metroid 
Prime 1, Prime 2, and now Prime 3. And if you listen well, you might say, hey, this song is from back then. And so you might discover the nostalgic Metroid music that I included. So listening to classic Metroid music might be one of the ways to enjoy playing the game. Anyway, please enjoy Metroid Prime 3. Japanese sure have a way with words. <laughs> uh, all the other interesting ones have uh, the first one in it, which I can't reach because of my field of view, I assume. Oh, wait, I could change that on the fly. Hang on. Go to config, advanced. No. Graphics, prime hack, field of view. There we go. I don't know what default is in the game, but. Alright, so. Uh, 4617. Is, oh, I still can't reach. Shoot. So there's a couple more messages from um, the Japanese developers. What did I have a set at? I don't remember. I think that's about right. So there's a message from uh, Yoshio Sakamoto. Um, He's one of the co-creators of the original Metroid. Uh, the la the one we heard with the whistling, that was Kenji Yamamoto. He's... I think he's the one who... Oh, he's the music composer. Uh, I was... I was. That makes a lot more sense. Sakamoto. Yeah, Sakamoto is the one who's responsible for uh, Other M being garbage. Uh, Kenji Yamamoto is uh, the composer. And then Shigeru Miyamoto... Uh, created Mario and then <laughs> just kind of rode that to stardom and success. He also created uh, Zelda. Alright, well that was fun. I, uh, I'm going to end it here. Once again, I, I don't have any, um, I don't have any music queued up for an outro. Oh, peace.